What content creators really rate Diablo 4? Let's watch this. What would you rate Diablo 4 on a scale 1 to 10? And if you could use one word to describe it, what would it be? Okay. This is a very straightforward, no bullshit question that I asked every content creator that I could reach out to to figure out where this game lines up in their minds. I did my absolute best to provide insight from all kinds of creators this time, whether they're in the MMO space, the ARPG space, or even variety. I tried to get some big names involved, but I also wanted to shed some light on some of these smaller creators as well. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what other people are going to rate it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of Diablo 4 content that I'm planning on posting, and you definitely don't want to miss out on some of the stuff that I have prepared for you guys. Okay. One last plug, but I'm giving away free copies of Diablo 4 throughout the entire Server Slam weekend, as well as the early access launch. I gave away like 30 free copies during the previous beta weekends. It was a lot. But yeah, follow me on Twitch. Come hang out with me there to have a chance to win your free copy. So like I said before, what would you rate this game on a scale 1 to 10 in one word to describe it? Some of our creators went above and beyond and provided some additional context. Okay. I would rate on a 10 scale, I would rate Diablo 4. I'd, I'd give it like a solid 8. A solid 8 plus or minus a point or two depending I, on... I, I, I think that like honestly for the beta, it was a little bit above 8. I, I was happy. What you're looking for out of the game. You know, if you're looking for like a Path of Exile replacement, if you're looking for a D2 replacement for the next 20 years, maybe it's a six or seven. If you're looking for a fun ARPG to mess around with that could potentially grow over time, maybe it's a nine. I don't know if it's a 10. I don't think it's innovative enough to be a 10, but that's also something we'll just wait and see what comes out of the seasons. But my core score for mm -hmm. D4, eight out of 10. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty good there. It's pretty okay. good. That's a good point. That's a good score, but. Cannon, why are you making me do this? <laughs> if I had to rate my experience with the D4 beta Riker, on a scale of, of 1 to 10, I'd say a 9. The beta itself, an 8, but my experience, a 9. And to describe that experience in one word, surreal. I've just been waiting for this game for so long. Hey guys, it's me, Bubba Jenny. And if I were to give Diablo 4 a rating from 1 to 10, I think I'd give Diablo 4 a 7. I really, really love the game, okay. the storyline. I, really I feel like a 7 being the lowest one so far. I think that's pretty fucking good. I really, really love the cinematics. I think it was one of the best I've ever seen in my life. But I wish there was a little bit more multiplayer. Um, if I were to give one word to describe Diablo 4, I would say legacy. And I guess that goes for the whole entire franchise, but... I think everyone is super excited, and as am I, I can't wait to play the launch. Diablo 4 is going to be groundbreaking. 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 in the second year. I, I think that probably is true fundamentally, that the game will get better over time. I'm hoping that's going to happen. That's cute dog. He does a lot of PoE. 8 out of 10. Cool. My rating of Diablo 4, uh, 1 through 10. Oh, this guy's been doing Diablo uh, stuff forever. Be a 6. And if I could sum up my mm -hmm. thoughts in one word, I would say potential. Hi. If I had to rate Diablo 4, I would give it a solid 8. And one word to describe it, fun. Okay. It's fun. Hello, um, Dat Mods. Um, I was asked to rate my Diablo 4 experience. I think currently... I would put around a 7.5 and then depending on how end game and everything shapes up that number could go up or down and one word to describe how i feel about it is uh hopeful goodbye okay, that's not too bad hopeful okay uh, i feel like a lot of people are pretty positive about it all right on a scale of one to ten one being the worst game i've ever played 10 being the <laughs> absolute best game I've ever played, I'd probably give Diablo 4 a 7. Okay. And the one word I'd use to describe it is decent. Hello, my name is Bojo Jen. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give Diablo 4 beta an 8 out of 10. One word I would use to describe Pretty my good. experience playing so far is beautiful. I think okay. that the game and the cinematics look great, and I'm excited to see what endgame content looks like. My experience with Diablo yeah, I would say that, that's decent enough. All right, Diablo Four so far has been pretty enjoyable. I think it's about a six or seven out of ten mm -hmm. right now, 
and I'm gonna break the rules and use two words to describe how I'm feeling going into the launch, and that's cautious optimism. I would give Diablo 4 an 8.5 out of 10, and if I had to describe it in one word, it would be compelling. Hi, I- Oh, compelling. I don't know, was it really super compelling? I think the story was okay, but that's about it. It's not like it was like super good, it was just okay. I'm a Disney fan, since I'm new to the franchise and the genre, mm -hmm. I would describe it as exciting, and I would give Diablo 4 beta an 8.5 out of 10. What's up, bro? So I've played hundreds of hours across multiple betas, and I'd rate Diablo 4 an 8 out of 10. Solid. Okay, at first I would have given it a 4 out of 10, but those recent changes upped it to a 6 out of 10. So my word would be saved, probably. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate Diablo 4 a solid 8. I think it has great aesthetics, great sound, great fluid gameplay. I also love that it has very approachable but still decent depth with building your character. So no need for a PhD like you might do. Yeah, okay, so she's comparing it to Path of Exile. In Path of Exile. Um, I think it's awesome to have more variety of ARPGs mm -hmm. and I think Diablo 4 might be the perfect fit in there as the go-to for new players. Yo yo, it's Jojo, and I would rate Diablo 4 a 6 out of 10. And my one word to describe the game is uh, end game question mark? Echo Ack here. I'd give Diablo 4 a 9 out of 10. It's highly promising. Hi friends. 9 out of 10, okay. That's pretty good, I would say so. There you go. Giga Chad, 6, I don't know. I would give Diablo 4 currently an 8.5 out of 10 with a potential of like a 9.75 out of 10 because the game's super fun. Okay, and yeah. I mean, that, that's. I feel like a lot of people are around 8. And I would describe it in one word as fun. Ranking Diablo 4 on a scale of 1 to 10 so far, I would give it an 8. And I would say it's solid. <laughs> Diablo 4 rating. Oh, I think it's silly to rate just based on level 25. At the moment, I would give it a 6, but I could easily see it going up to an 8 with the end game and uh, the, the full game and the end game. And yeah, I, I think, like, honestly, I would rate it much higher than a 6. I thought the gameplay was very good. Well, season updates. I felt Hopefully like it gets up to an 8, really well designed. The end game. It, great it doesn't go down. Um, the cinematics were amazing. So the, the groundwork, the base game mm -hmm. felt good, but... I want to find out more about the end game itemization, the, the seasons, or like the, the bread and butter of every RPG. And so far, I can only give it a 6.5 out of 10 with room to improvement. If I had to describe my experiences in Diablo 4 with one word, I would say um, it left me curious, right? I definitely wanted to play more instantly. I just wanted to read up more, and I can't wait to play the end product. For my grade so far for Diablo 4 on a 1 to 10 scale, I would give it a 7. And the right. one word I would use to describe that grade would be potential. I say that because the canvas is there for a really solid game. Yeah, I think that's one of the main things that a lot of people worry about is like what's going to happen after the game's out? How are they going to how are they going to manage this game? The aesthetic the feel, the combat is polished. I think it's all there for the taking, and the fan base is rabid and excited to dive in and support the game, but it's all gonna come down to how they manage the end game, how well they can operate the seasons, how consistently they can add new patches and new things to the game and new mechanics and new builds and keep things relevant and keep players engaged. So it's all gonna come down to that type of stuff, but it's there for the taking and it's got potential to be a really solid game based off of the things that I've seen right now so far in the two different beta iterations, mm -hmm. I would go with a 7 out of 10. Hi. Not bad. I'm Ellie. Um, my Diablo 4 experience. Um, I'd say I'd give the game a solid A. Not having played the end game yet, I'm super excited um, to play that. And what I've already got to witness and play, I'm super, super pumped. If I had Great. one word to describe Diablo 4, I'd say... Uh, dark dark <laughs> hey canon lucky here uh, i used a complex 10 point scale for my rating of diablo 4 based on the beta and uh the average of that came out to around an 8.42069 
Uh, 8.4. Okay, that's good. Yep, it's about uh, right. If I had to use one word to describe Diablo 4, I would use the word ambitious. Um, hello, my name is Poop and Is it really uh, that ambitious? I think it's just pretty much just a, a it's a solid ARPG. Um, and if I had to rate Diablo 4 on a scale of 1 to 10 based on my played experience in the beta, I would give it a an 8. Mm -hmm. um, and if I had to describe Diablo 4 in one word, it would be mummy. Did you say money or mummy? I, I I don't know which one. Okay. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Seattle Witch. If I had to give Diablo 4 a score of 1 to 10, I would give it a solid 7. And for my one word, that would be mommy. Sorry. Promising. Okay. Promising. Hello. I'm that zero. one we know it wasn't uh, money. What would I rate Diablo 4 on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, uh -huh. I would give it an 8 with the potential to be a 10. Yeah, with the potential. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen with that. Be excited. Uh, and that's it. Thanks, Cannon. Just from the beta alone, I'd probably have to rate our experience an 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. With one word to describe it really being impactful. The abilities had a nice weight and feel to them, which in turn made it fun to engage with the game's gameplay. So, I would describe Diablo as gripping because bro in those cutscenes i was hooked on every single word and i think the cutscenes for the game was good yeah i would say so honestly i think i would give diablo 4 an 8.5 i know what you guys okay. are thinking you're thinking where's asmin what's his number i see him in the thumbnail i want to know what his number is and unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually get him. And instead of hearing Asmin's number, why don't we shed some light on another smaller creator, an up and coming creator that is not yet affiliated on Twitch. And I we'll thought I this video out by showcasing uh, his thoughts on the game. So if I had to rank. Yeah, because I thought I sent him the video. I was like, man, did I do it too late? Like what happened? Diablo four okay. on a scale of one to okay. ten. I feel like I would rank it a solid eight point five. And if I had one word to describe it, that word would be good. There you there have you it, guys. Go. Big shout outs to all the content creators involved. It was super fun being able to connect with all of these guys and girls. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedules to allow this video to happen. Everyone's links can be found in the description below. Please go check them out. Show them some love. Oh, and if you're wondering what my number and word is, my rating would be a solid nine. And the word that I would use would be subscribe. See you guys okay. in the next video. Okay. I think that's pretty fair. Yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for the, ex for the I was about to say expansion, but uh, for Diablo 4, I just really hope it's going to be good, honestly. It's coming out. What's so crazy it's, is it's coming out in less than a month, man. Isn't that nuts?